Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about sector of a circle. Let us define first what is a sector of a circle. A sector of a circle is the region bounded by two radii R and an arc intercepted by a central angle theta. Looking at the illustration, the sector is this region colored by gray wherein notice that it is actually a part of a circle which is a region bounded by two radii. To determine the area of the sector which is represented by A, we can use the formula A equals one half times R squared times the given theta or the central angle in radian measure. Remember that the central angle represented by theta should always be in radian measure before using the given formula. However, in the previous video, we know that the arc length S is equal to the product of R and the theta. Thus, we can also rewrite the above formula as A equals 1 half times R squared times theta factoring R theta from R squared theta, we will have 1 half times R times R theta, wherein this R theta here is actually equal to S. Therefore, we now have arrived with another formula for the area of the sector to be 1 half RS. You can use this second formula if you know the length of the arc. Let us consider some examples in using the formula for the area of the sector. A garden has a sprinkler that sprays water over a distance of 10 meters and rotates through an angle of 150 degrees. For letter A, the question is what is the area of the garden the sprinkler waters? And letter B, if a sprinkler rotates through an angle of 45 degrees, what must be the distance that the sprinkler reach to water an area of 300 square meters? For us to be able to visualize the problem, an illustration is being provided. From the problem, it was given that the sprinkler sprays water over a distance of 10 meters. So therefore, we can actually consider that this 10 meters to be the radius and it rotates through an angle of 150 degrees. Therefore, we can say that the central angle is equal to 150 degrees. Writing down our given for letter A, we have theta is equal to 150 degrees and again, we need to convert this into radian by multiplying it by pi over 180. So we will have 150 pi over 180, which is equal to 5 pi over 6. Using the given for the radius, which is equal to 10 meters, we can find the area of the garden that the sprinkler waters using the formula A is equal to 1 half R squared theta. So substituting our values, we're gonna have 1 half times 10 squared times 5 pi over 6. Simplifying 10 squared here, we're gonna have 1 half times 100 times 5 pi over 6. So 100 times 1 half is equal to 50. So we will have 50 times 5 pi all over 6, which is equal to 125 pi all over 3. Now, remember that pi is equal to 3.14. So when we substitute 3.14 here, we're going to have 125 times 3.14 divided by 3. Using our calculators, this is equal to 130.83 meter squared. Therefore, the area 
of the garden being sprinkled with water is 130.83 meters squared. Solving for B, if a sprinkler rotates through an angle of 45 degrees, what must be the distance that the sprinkler reach to water an area of 300 square meters? Observing the question in B, we were asked of what is the distance. So therefore, we were asked to find R. Given that the theta is equal to 45 degrees, and the area is equal to 300 squared meters. So, converting our theta into radian measure, we will have times pi over 180, which will result to pi over 4. Now, since we are looking for R, using the formula for the area of the sector, which is A equals 1 half R squared pi to find the formula that we can use in solving for r we need to multiply first everything by 2 to eliminate one half here so we're gonna have 2a equals r squared theta next to eliminate the theta divide both sides by the theta giving us with r squared is equal to 2a all over theta but since we are after the r we need to eliminate the squared here by getting the square root of both sides of the equation. So therefore, r is equal to the square root of 2a all over theta. Now, we can use this formula in finding the value of r. r is equal to the square root of 2 times 300 all over pi over 4. Simplifying this, we're going to have square root of 600 all over 3.14 all over 4. Using our calculators in simplifying this expression, we will have R is approximately 27.65 meters. Therefore, to cover an area of 300 square meters, then the distance that the sprinkler should reach is equal to 27.65 meters. Let us try another one. A vegetable garden sprinkler sprays water over a distance of 20 meters and rotates through an angle of 210 degrees. Find the area of the garden that can be irrigated with this sprinkler. So from the given, we have the distance of 20 meters, which is our R, and a central angle of 210 degrees, which is our theta. So the given R, theta equals 210 degrees, and converting it into radian, we're gonna have 210 pi over 180. Simplifying it, we will have 7 pi all over 6. Moreover, we also have known the radius to be 20 meters. Finding the area, we can use the formula A equals 1 half R squared theta. And substituting the given on our formula, we will have 1 half times 20 squared times 7 pi all over 6. Simplifying 20 squared, then we will have 1 half times 400 times 7 pi all over 6. And multiplying 1 half and 400, we're going to have 200 times 7 pi all over 6. Next, let us multiply 200 and 7 pi. So we will have 1,400 pi divided by 6. Changing pi into 3.14, then we will have 1,400 times 3.14 divided by 6. Using our calculators, multiplying 1,400 and 3.14, we will get 4,396 
then divide it by 6. So, dividing it by 6, we gonna have approximately the area is 732.67 meters squared. So, therefore, the area of the garden that can be irrigated by the sprinkler is equal to 732.67 meters squared. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about linear and angular speeds. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.